Today, I want to introduce you to two artificial intelligence stocks, one of which I've already invested in just recently, and the other one is I'm considering it. Both of them are data center stocks uh, that have huge potential. Uh, one is Credo Technologies, whose symbol is CRDO, and the other is Navitas, uh, semiconductors, uh, symbol NVTS, which is technically a, a penny stock because it's less than $4, but it similarly has uh, a great potential because it is involved with data centers. And I have already invested in Credo Technologies, Navitas, I'm considering investing in it. I probably will invest in it somewhat, but I won't fully commit to it uh, until I see uh, positive, more positive uh, price movement going forward. Credo has recently had some nice price movement and has blasted higher, but first let's take a closer look at it. Why Credo Technology Group rocketed nearly 50% today uh, Credo Technology, CRDO, is a data center cable company, and it went up significantly last Tuesday. The company reported earnings last night that not only beat analyst estimates, but also delivered blowout guidance, suggesting Credo has emerged as a new artificial intelligence winner, an inflection point in the AI interconnect. Credo makes a unique cable product called an Active Electrical Cable, AEC, which connects data center servers to networking switches. The company claims its AECs take up 75% less space than direct attach uh, copper DAC cables and offer 50% more power efficiency versus Active Optical Cable, AOC, alternatives. As power and space are becoming scarce commodities in power-hunger AI data centers, Crater's proprietary technology seems to be finding favor with large AI customers. In its fiscal third quarter, Crater delivered 63% revenue growth to $72 million, beating estimates by $5.2 million, while adjusted non-GAAP Earnings per share came in at uh, $0.07, cents, beating estimates by $0.02. Cents. But the biggest story with Credo was its third quarter revenue guidance for between $115 million and $125 million. That's obviously a massive 67% quarter-over-quarter jump, suggesting perhaps a tipping point in demand for the technology. CEO Bill Brennan confirmed for the past few quarters, we have anticipated an infliction point in our revenues during the second half of fiscal 2025. I am pleased to share that this turning point has arrived, and we are experiencing even greater demand than initially projected, driven by AI deployments and deepening customer relationships. The hot new AI stock on the block. Investors have been clamoring for new artificial intelligence winners to buy, and it appears Credo just emerged as that today in a big way. However, Credo's $11.8 billion market cap does look rather high after the surge, given its mere $500 million revenue run rate based on the third quarter outlook. So there is some caution with this stock and as especially with new entries to my lineup, I'm going to put a 4% trailing stop loss on it. You have to do that with these hot stocks. And if it goes down 4%, I'll readjust it depending on whether that's just a fluctuation in a continuing uptrend or whether that's the beginning of a downturn. And looking at the chart, you can see why Credo is the new hot AI stock. At the beginning of the year, it was at $20. And then it hung around and it finally got to the upper 30s in the beginning of November. 
and just recently it shot up almost 50% and now is at over $74. Uh, its relative strength is 81. Uh, this is an outbreak. I see that as a sign of strong demand uh, and I will continue to play the stock with the 4% trailing stock loss, uh, adjusting it uh, only if it signals a continuing downturn. This next stock I am considering, but it is very speculative, and there are things going against it. Jim Cramer does not like the stock, so that can be either be a plus or a minus, depending on your point of view. But let's dive into it. The stock is Navitas, symbol NVTS, which again does data center equipment. Navitas Semiconductor is the only pure play next generation power semiconductor company celebrating 10 years of power innovation founded in 2014. Gynafast power ICs integrate gallium nitride power and drive with control sensing and protection to enable faster charging, higher power density, and greater energy savings. Complementary Gen 6 power devices are optimized high power, high voltage, and high reliability silicon carbide solutions. Focus markets include AI data centers, EV, solar, energy storage, home appliance, industrial, mobile, and consumer. Over 300 Navitas patents are issued or pending with the industry's first and only 20-year Gynafast warranty. Navitas was the world's first semiconductor company to be carbon neutral certified. Cool. Navitas Semiconductor is the only pure play next generation power semiconductor company and industry leader in gallium nitrite uh, power ICs and silicon carbide technology has announced it will showcase several breakthroughs for AI data centers, EVs, and mobile technology at a conference in Las Vegas uh, January 7th through the 10th, 2025. Navitas was recently acknowledged as the top 500 five fastest growing technology company by Deloitte's Technology Fast 500 for the third consecutive years. It's a hot one. The Planet Navitas Suite will showcase the company's mission to electrify our world by advancing the tr transition from legacy silicon to next generation clean energy GAN and, and SIC power semiconductors. These technologies are designed for high growth markets that demand the highest efficiency and power density, such as AI data centers, electrical vehicles, and mobile. Additionally, Navitas will demonstrate how GAN and SIC technologies contribute to reducing carbon footprint with the potential to save over 6,000 megatons of carbon dioxide per year by 2050. Major technology and system breakthroughs include world's only 650 volt bi-directional GAN fast power ICs, game-changing disruptor disruptive GAN technology for next generation solutions that require the highest efficiency and power density with the lowest complexity and significant component reduction. World's first 8.5 kilowatt AI data center power supply. See the world's first 8.5 kilowatt OCP power solution achieving 98% efficiency for AI and hyperscale data centers featuring high power GAN safe power ICs and Gen 3 fast SIC MOSFETs in three phase interweave CCM totem pole PFC and three phase LLC typo topologies to provide the highest efficiency, performance, and lowest component count. World's highest power density AI power supply. Navitas delivers efficient 4.5 kilowatt power in the smallest power supply form factor for the latest AI GPUs that demand three times more power 
per rack. The optimized design uses high-power GAN safe ICs and Gen 3 fast SIC MOSFETs, enabling the world's highest power density with 137W per cubic inch and over 97% efficiency. IntelliWave patented digital control optimized for AI data center power supplies combined with high power GA and safe and Gen 3 fast sick MOSFETs to enable PFC peak efficiencies of 93.3% and reduce power losses by 30% compared to existing solutions. Automotive qualified Gen 3 fast, sick MOSFETs with trench-assisted planar technology. Enabled by over 20 years of SIC innovation leadership, Gene Sick technology leads on performance with the Gen 3 fast, sick MOSFETs with trench-assisted planar technology. This proprietary technology provides world-leading performance over temperature, delivering cool running, fast switching, and superior robustness to support faster charging EVs and up to three times more powerful AI data centers. GAN Slim Simple Fast Integrated, a new generation of highly integrated GAN power ICs that will further simplify and speed the development of small form factor high power density applications by offering the highest level of integration and thermal performance. Target applications include chargers for mobile devices and laptops, TV power supplies, and lighting systems of up to 500 watts. Sick pack high power modules built for endurance and performance. Utilizing industry-leading trench-assisted planar gate technology and epoxy resin potting for increased power cycling and long-lasting reliability, sick pack modules offer compact form factors and provide cost-effective power-dense solutions for applications including EV charging, drive, solar, and energy storage systems. New advancements in our leading GAN Fast and Gen 6 technology. GAN Sense motor drive ICs with bi directional lossless current sensing, voltage sensing, and temperature protection, further enhancing performance and robustness beyond what is achievable by any discrete GAN or discrete silicon device. Gen 6 MOSFET die specifically optimized for EV traction modules with additional screening and gold metallization for sintering. And last but not least, sustainable solutions. Discover Navitas' vision to reduce up to 6 gigatons per year of carbon dioxide by 2050 with technologies that offer higher efficiency, density, and grid independence. The conference takes place in Las Vegas, Nevada from January 7th through the 10th. The Planet Navitas Suite is located in Tech West at the Venetian Suite 29-335. Looking at the chart, uh, the first thing you have to realize is what a massive downturn the stock has had uh, year to date. It's down 53%, and we have lots of exciting possibilities for data centers. And it is hopeful that uh, since the middle of November, it's taken a major turn upside. But I'm not really comfortable buying it as a penny stock below $5. I would be more encouraged if it took a major bump up after the January 7th uh, conference begins in Las Vegas where they show off their discoveries. I would be much more comfortable buying it at around $6, believe it or not, uh, just because it would show that there's substance behind the major upturn. So for me, it's a risky stock. 
Uh, I would be very cautious with it. I, I, it would be on probation, and I would have my 4% trailing stop loss on it in case it took a major downturn. The major news Monday is that Oracle reports uh, their earnings on Monday, December 9th after the market, and that will affect data center stocks in a massive way. Uh, I own some of it. I might buy more of it before the earnings come out and uh, will either sell or buy more uh, depending on how the earnings come out on Monday. It's a big event when Oracle announces earnings these days. Thanks for listening.